The Port Authority, in conjunction with other agencies, says it's focused on redeploying assets to combat the oil, which is mostly located in the inner harbor. The main aim, it says, is to collect all the free-floating oil and start with the cleaning of all revetments, key walls and property damaged by the spill. Minister for the Port Vijay Daryanani says he's been reassured to see that all protocols and procedures were in place to ensure a rapid response. And Environment Minister John Cortez says he's saddened by this incident, which he claims is fortunately rare in our waters, but which comes at great environmental cost. He adds that over the last 10 years, the marine life in our harbor had come back in strength and was becoming a key wildlife area. This, he adds, is a significant setback, which the government is monitoring closely and working hard to minimize the impact of. Meanwhile, the GONHS claims the spill should have been contained if procedures were followed, adding that if Gibraltar wants to be seen to lead on environmental matters, it cannot afford such accidents. The Environmental Safety Group demands that every effort be made by the authorities to establish precisely what happened following the apparent valve failure and what steps will be taken to ensure this does not happen again. It would also like to know the volume of oil that was leaked and the speed in which the oil contingency response was initiated. Finally, the group expects that polluting paying regulations will be fully applied once the investigation is completed to cover the costs of the cleanup and impact on the environment which will continue for some time given what it says is the very challenging nature of cleaning up an oil spill. The Nautilus project also commented on the devastating effects of a spill, adding that as long as bunkering persists in our waters, we will not be spared these events, infrequent as they may be. All three NGOs point out that these spills have severe long-term effects on our marine environment. Over the weekend, the GONHS and the vet clinic have been taking in oiled seabirds and appealed to the public to help them spot any birds or marine life in distress. Meanwhile, the captain of the port says he's been in constant contact with relevant port operators and with the captain of the port of Algeciras, with whom he has had a very fluid communication, having spoken directly on numerous occasions each day since Friday. The government says there is no credible evidence to substantiate reports in some media of oil from this spill being present on land on the Spanish side of the bay. It adds this is the first spill in Gibraltar in many years although a number of spills have taken place in the bay, originating from Spanish operators. And Aquajib has confirmed to GBC that it has temporarily switched off all access to its reverse osmosis systems as a routine measure to prevent any contamination of its systems due to the oil spill. The company says it does this as a routine measure, following contact from the environmental agency, and switches to stored supply of potable water.